Hey guys, Roger Paris, and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Liverpool Grammar World. Last time I left off, I left off. He defeats Spurs and Crystal Palace in the league. And I am now 23 points clear of second place Chelsea. Yeah. That's a thing. Is it? So as you can see and tell by the title of the video, well, I have two matches against the Gunners Arsenal. The first is our game in the FA Cup against them. This one is at the Emirates. And if I'm not mistaken, the other one the other one is in the Premier League, and if I'm not mistaken, I think it's at Anfield. Well, so, a real home and away theme, really. We're going for here, or away and home, because we're away first. Well, it's action from the FA Cup, the Emirates FA Cup, as we must rightly call it now. To be fair, this is, this is good, because this gets Arsenal out of the way, I won't have to worry about coming up against them later in competition, again, again, oh, arrival out very early, because this is only the fourth round, so, this would be a, one of us go, have to go out, has to go out in this round, and Ejo almost scored, his first goal. He's been given the number five jersey. Okay, that's interesting. He's taken the uh, number of uh, Daniel Iyer, who, re who is the most recent person to have it. Well, Gene went out of them as it now, right? Actually, I'm thinking of uh, a uh, more long term person. Which is, uh, well, I'm hoping Leggio will give us this a long term career. If he has any. If he's a Liverpool long as long as Daniel Iger was, that would be fantastic. Even longer, that would be great. Because Iger joined us really late in his career. He was like 27, 28 when he's been signed. To put them in front. Seeding the corner, now they've got to deal with it, the defenders. And here's the shot. He got to oh. <laughs> got the tackle in. He's trying for a uh, long range stunner with. Uh, Costa Pereira, I think. Probably not. But, but uh. Kieran Gibbs. I will, uh, I will work on it. Uh. Of course, I assigned him in the left. Uh, as well. He's got the ball away from him with the tackle. It's nicely worked. It looks like to me, Costa Pereira. Of course, those of you wondering, he is the uh, regent of Kaka. Oh, and there we go. His first, first goal for Liverpool. Oh. Well, one goal. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, I uh, simulate the Manchester City uh, second leg between this and the last episode. Man City beat me 1-0, uh, but of course that's not good enough for them to have got through. They, were, they needed a bigger win. And their goal came in the 87th minute for me and Nacho, so... I was, uh... It was... There were... <laughs> there were... No danger of them... It seemed like they were... Not... In, uh, I was, it didn't seem like I... I Save. Hmm. Oh, 
I guess I got w worked up over nothing. I was a bit worried that Man City might pull a fucking unbelievable performance out of the bag, but uh, they did beat me, but only by the one goal, and it was really late in the game, so. throw now after the tackle. They can have that 1 0 win. They can have it. I don't care. Uh, cut out by the defender. Means very little to me. Good forward play from them. And in goes the cross. Santi Kuzoa, his header is saved by Lafort, who is uh, hoping to get his first clean sheet in the series and go for that uh, one out and loss. Not the best start to his career, but uh, he kept City out for all, almost the entire game. One little slip at the end of the game. Hmm. Hmm. Isn't too bad, I suppose. Could be worse. Especially when you consider the uh, attacking options Manchester City have. And the likes of Sergio Aguero and Kevin De Bruyne. And even that my grubbing asshole, old Sterling, is a threat. As much as it annoys me to admit that. Have to give the asshole his due. Now they've got a chance. Alexander Arnold. He's got the beating kiss, Shelley. Oh, oh, shit. Harry, the yeah. kind of in the group, this path, but he recovered quickly enough to make the double save. Farrell, get that back in. Lurie! Right, hey, Lurie. Now it's 1 0 here as the half time. Uh, so far, it's 1 0. Players have had their chance to go from Costa Pereira. The only goal in the game so far. I expect more goals between me and Arsenal. No, no, this goal between uh, Liverpool and Arsenal is real life proved at the start of the season. Origi, attacking now. From a goal standpoint, that's probably one of the best games of the season so far. I don't think Arsenal fans would agree. There's confirmation that the league game is at Anfield. Oh, as uh, Emery Moore makes it 2-0. Oh, that's why I want it a nice early second half goal. Oh. Well, really give me a bit more of an edge over Arsenal in this game. And opening that door so many times during the match, deservedly ahead. Restarting at 2-0. Granani Chaka. Santi Cazola. with the challenge. Well, the tackle there led to a throw. Davide Calabria. There's some potential in this move. Could be a chance here. Emery Moore makes it 3-0. Oh, with a bit of a misery compiler. And Arsenal oh, oh, who are, are in a ton of shit. The touch, the finish. finish. Beautiful.
three goals in the FA Cup for Hedy from Raymore. He's uh, tripled his uh, tally in he went in well. after only a second game. From one to three. Riggy! Team is lining up for the corner. Emery Moore! Oh, that would have been a fantastic goal. Oh. Jack Wilshire. Santi Cazola. What about Liverpool's next game? Yeah, they're playing Everton in the next match. And I don't think they'll find too many obstacles in the way. Wait, what? Arsenal's shot of time now. He's got his shot off now. That's a good try, isn't it, in the circumstances? Yeah, but they need these to go in. That's weird. It just came up that I have a game against Everton on deadline day. Kept on plugging away into the attacking third. What game against Everton on deadline day? Free kick here in a scoring position, there's no doubt about it. The match just get rescheduled during this match. Oh dear, oh dear. He's committed to Whoops. I'm confused because there was no mention of a game against Everton on their line here up until there. He knows he's committed a foul there. And he's in there with a header. Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it. Oh! <laughs> I tackled the ball from Czech and it almost went in. Oh, that would have been a fantastic goal. Oh. And a very, very cheeky goal. Testing the keeper enough to have any success, and his team are losing too. Jacka. Jack Wilshire. This doesn't look too good for Arsenal. And it's a position that's almost irretrievable. Henry in his attempt to try and win the ball accidentally put out for a throw. Building steadily here, keeping possession. And now he's looking for some support. Nice move to get away from the defender. They cope with it well defensively. 84 minutes gone, six minutes to go. On the attack here. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Danny Welbeck. Rich. Alexander Arnold. Tackle goes in. Ah! He's trying to work more into the space. He's trying to find room for the opportunity for him. Maybe I should have passed it to the Ocarina when I had the chance. It's some danger. It could be a chance. And the cross is in. And that's the final whistle from the referee. Liverpool have won. Wait, is that it? Wow. Huh. I wasn't... Uh, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't paying any attention to the time. I have to check this out. Oh, about the Everton match. Because there was no... I looked at the thing only... I'm not going to lie, this is recorded almost... Only a f only about an hour or so after I recorded the last episode. Oops, because... Yeah, there is a, a game against Everton. Where the hell did that come from? Because that was not there. That was not there a few minutes ago. That must have just gotten rescheduled there a few seconds ago. Leeds United nil, Bristol City two. Maybe it was. Maybe it's the uh, Capital One Cup final. Maybe that's it. Nottingham Forest one, Fulham one. Well, I guess that means we're not going to have a, a second game against uh, Arsenal this episode. We're going to have the Merseyside derby instead.
just for the record, I didn't lie. I was right. It, they changed the schedule on me, and I didn't realize it. So, ignore why I said at the start of the episode, you're not getting two Arsenal matches. <laughs> and why the hell did they advertise that? Is that Arsenal's next match? Why am I... What? I, I'm, I'm so confused. Nice, refreshing drink of my Diet Coke will uh, calm my confusion down a bit. Oh, hey, Manilor is uh, coming over to my country. He, he did Shamrock Rovers. Enjoy it, friend. Hint? Uh, it probably won't. It's Aaron's a bit of a show hole, but uh, hey, it's a chance to get first team opportunities. Well, oh, yeah, I don't know what kind of brains they have over there. And um, in between the last episode and well, this episode, I uh, accepted an offer for John Flanagan from Leicester City, so I should. I'm expecting confirmation on that to come through any second now. Hasn't come through yet, which is odd. Everton are uh, building up on those uh, defensive players. In the last episode they signed Daily Blind. Now they've signed uh, there's the confirmation of uh, flying into Leicester. Don't worry, Coutinho, don't worry. I'm not forgetting you. No, it's just a little slip up on my part. Don't worry about it. But, um, now they've signed uh, Gabrielle from Arsenal. Which is uh, odd. Here you can see the league table and the uh, utter mess that it is. Or mess if you are looking for a competent and exciting title race because uh, we're fresh out of those. those. And hey, Chelsea are playing, so I can keep an eye on whether they screw up again. Am I gonna go further ahead of them? Because, because I'm not far enough ahead of them, they might think. Seems to be their uh, thinking as of late. I don't think uh, Gabrielle played in that last match. I think it's uh... so. Uh... He's not fresh off that uh, defeat. His ex team are. And this is Goodison Park. The Dave Blind is uh, continuing the relationship between Everton and Manchester United. Isn't that just like? those two teams. They both dislike Hague Liverpool, so they say, hey, let's, 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 you know, let's transfer between each other regu semi-regularly. Yeah. You know, we'll work something out. Oh. Uh, well, he's looked the manager at what they need in the transfer market, and he's decided Stupid and odd, but, hey, why not? Good for them. It's, it's good. Hit the, hit the two losers can enjoy. Friendship. They can both go share in their inability to beat me. Three changes for Everton from their last team. In saying that, Everton have beaten me in, my, uh, in the years I've played FIFA. I think they have two victories uh, over me, which have uh, both actually come at Goodison. Well, I say at Goodison. This was before Goodison even got put into the game. But 
you got you guys understand why I mean before when Everton were the home team. In the good same work wasn't in the game. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm trying to think when they last beat me. And he could get away here. Mm -hmm. Given away possession. Um Oh, I remember now. FIFO six. Leighton Bates. In fact, weirdly enough, I think both of the victories came in FIFO six. What we've got here is the away team trying to do so, a double, having absolutely eleven FIFAs ago. So now for the home team. So uh, Everton are on a bit of a dry streak against Vincent, even though they have it. Those victories. Yeah, I'm remembering it right. It is so sick. It was uh, FIFA 06. They beat me in uh, season one and then season two. So I didn't win at this until season three. Well, I didn't win it in a way dark yeah, until season three. Really enough, I won the ones at Anfield. And in season one, I came up against Everton in the quarter final of the FA Cup, so at Anfield. So I beat him then as well. So I still came out on top in terms of uh, the derbies in that season. And we uh, tied in the uh, second season. So there's a bit of a uh, history for any of those interested. Some of you probably you don't give a shit, but uh, you know. For those of you who do, well, the goalkeeper was absolutely stranded and left the goal gaping. Well, it was an easy goal in the end, the kind that you wouldn't expect to get at this level. But with so many games, you know, you're bound to have a few blips on the radar. Or but uh, it's weird that I'm going to be against United. Yeah. And I think they're the only team I've never lost to. Liverpool striving to be champions. They look like champions out there, Martin, and they have done for a number of weeks, a number of months. Just need to keep it going. A particular team. I, I have. Other teams I have lost to Manchester United. Yeah, yeah. European matches. Quick header, found the team. Um, as Liverpool boss, every time, any time I've done Liverpool for a month, they've never beat me. So. Uh, Possession given away once more. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Onto the attack now. Challenges for the ball. I'm trying to remember what the score lines in those uh, derbies were. This year, I'm wondering. I think Everton beat me 2 1 in the first season derby. At the, at when they were technically. When they were the home team? This one. Yeah, they did. It was actually. Uh, I got a, a double. Well, two more minutes to be played then. Added time. I got uh, caught out by um, two free kicks from uh, Leighton Baines over there. Look very good indeed. I gave away the first one. Uh, mm, mm, not you know, not really thinking much about it. It, I. Accidentally fell. Pulled outside. Hit the box. I think actually... I think Jimmy Carragher got sent off in that match. Because he got booked for the first foul. And he got booked for the second foul. So he was sent off. So, um... Not a, not a happy return. And for him. To this. <laughs> 
Um, Gains his free kick as he takes the ball there from Manny. His first one was about where. Probably where Williams was when he got the ball. So uh, it was a bit far out, so I was, I was, I thought right, you know, would save it. I really did. Hit. But uh, I completely missed it. So uh, that was, that was shocking. Hmm? New club for Alexis Sanchez. He has signed for Bayern Munich. Yeah, they, we could be in. Sturridge, and they have scored. And then the uh, second one actually went in off the post. I mean, if it was any, if if it didn't hit the post, it wouldn't have gone in. Because I, w I am a hundred percent sure I had it saved if it didn't hit the post and go in. So that was a bit annoying. And the second time, it was uh, I lost one nil if I remember correctly. Yeah, one. Oh, it was actually uh. Working, uh, poor Jamie Carragher again. I think it was his last season before he retired in that game. Still 30 minutes left. This, early enough, he uh, retired very early in that that time. Was, uh, this was a uh, few years ago, so like I said, this was 11 feet as well, so 2007. Tackling is a real skill. Great place to win it back. Oh, you know what? Two out of five. Sorry. And the referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. I think we were in 2006 when I uh, was when I reached season three. Of course, I was playing more regularly then, but uh, no, like season two. Sorry, season three is when I uh, hung on to the ball well. Uh, what happened was, it was a corner, her, her, and and Carragher jumped up, and you know it's it's just one of those. I'm trying to header it over the bar because I see nothing but blue shirts, you know, just bar, you know, just fucking all over the place. I'm sitting there thinking, how many players do they have? have for this corner. So I think, okay, I'll just header it out of play me and I'll deal with it in there and they can have the in our corner. I don't header it correctly and the ball goes in in the back of the net. Of course there's um Casillas is out unseated. Uh, I freaking replaced Raina because I started to realize how shit he was. He can see a good few goals that the first season, so I replaced him. But, uh, fortunately, Casillas couldn't do much better. Nathaniel Klein. Hello. To nudge you in the direction of what's coming. I don't think he was expecting. Uh, Premier League fixture. That's fully uh, ready for the uh, header for the coming from. Oh, well done, the goalkeeper, and he's hung on to the ball. Carter put him into that uh, situation where he would have needed to produce a save of some description. And, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, Middlesbrough equalised against Chelsea. Fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping. I keep trying that with Sewell. I don't know why. Just, I don't know why, but when it falls to him, I'm like, 
Yeah, I'm a pop of this. I don't know what I'm expecting from a center back. Saying that, I score an absolutely fucking thunder punk with uh, uh, Busca. Probably recently in my uh, secondary career mode. Maybe with uh, M. M. Car or Perm. I'm getting better at saying their name, so that's good. Chan! Oh, I didn't get it out of my feet quick enough. So it's gonna end. Yep, 2 0. But hey, it's another hurry. He him. And say a man in Daniel Star Hedge. He's doing the work. Like, ah! Feck! Chelsea, he must have gotten a late a winner. Her fucking oh, assholes. Liverpool, two. Hull City, one. Swansea City, two. Manchester City, three. Leicester City, nil. You're welcome, Phil. You're welcome. So, I don't go for 23 points clear. Er. Er. In the next episode, well, I'll have more games. In three. Er. Killer. And thanks for watching. Home enjoy. Smash like button and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, I hope you all have a very nice day. Peace. With 40 points. In 6th, Leicester City with 35 points. In 7th, Newcastle United with 34 points.